And thank you for joining us tonight at Toronto's London for this special talk by your listening to Master, Master Kimura Soke. Soke. My name is Julia, and we are Robin. I am program manager uh, here at Japan House London. Uh, tonight, in addition to our physical audience here at Japan House, we are also joined by a virtual audience on Zoom, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So a warm welcome also to our online viewers. Uh, the event is being recorded, and a recording will be archived on our online platforms following the event. So for many of you, Kimura Soke, our speaker for this evening, will need no introduction. Kimura Sensei is a tea master of the Urasenke School, one of the major tea schools in Japan. As a representative of the London branch of Urasenke, Kimura Sensei works mainly in the UK and Europe, introducing Chado, the Japanese way of tea, through lectures and presentations. He has previously given two of Japan House London's most popular online talk events, which have explored lesser known aspects of Chado, the way of tea. In his previous lectures, Kimura Sensei has addressed the topics of light and shade, as well as sound in the appreciation of tea. This time, he will explore the significance of iro, or color, in the Urusenke uh, culture. The, complementing Japan House London's current exhibition, The Carpenter's Line, Kimura Sensei will also investigate the historical contribution of the Hidetakiyama region to Chado aesthetics. During the evening, Kimura Sensei will be uh, accompanied by Yamaguchi Yasuhiro from the Tankokai uh, UK Association, who will be providing interpretation. Following Kimura Sensei's presentation, there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions, and questions are also welcome from guests watching online. So if you're watching online on Zoom, please do submit your questions using the online Q&A function. Now, without further ado, uh, let's give a warm welcome to Kimura Sensei. え、ジュリアンさんとてもこんにちは。お話にもありましたが、1997年からロンドンに赴任。グリニッチにある出張所拠点に欧州を担当、ウラセンケチャドの普及、紹介に努めています。Based in our え、過去2回ウェビナーでお話をさせていただきました。第、はい。第1回目が光、あ、1月が光と影、3月には水と音を今回は現在開催中の飛騨匠の世界にちなんだ茶の湯の話の依頼がありました。At Today I will talk about this relationship and iro or color in Chanoyu. The Japanese word iro has several meanings. Sometimes Sometimes it is used subjectively and it is difficult to translate. Today, 
、えー、炭鉱会、英国協会幹事長がご好意で通訳してくださいますので安心しています。Um, today, the head of the Tankoka UK Association, s Yamaguchi, is with us to translate my talk. I trust he will be able to convey the essence. Yamaguchi, in the language of the Japanese, the Japanese are not going to be able to do it. I think that the Japanese are not going to be able to do it. I think that the Japanese are not going to be able to do it. He is not only a language expert, but has in depth knowledge about Japanese culture. So uh, uh, I believe he can come, come cover anything that I might miss. Sate, Minasan, Tenji Hits, Ima Kaisai Chik no Hida, Takumi no Sekai no Tenji Hits no Setsme no Nakani Hida no Chizuga Arimashita, Goran Itadakimashita de Shoka. There is a map of Hida in the exhibitions hall. Um, did you have a chance to take a look? Hida Chihou wa Nihon no hobo, chusin to it the eo na ichi ni ari, yama yama ni kakomare ta tokoro des. The Hida region lies in the center of the Japanese archipelago, surrounded by mountains. Kokumoto se san suru ni wa tekista tochi to wa yemasen. This area is not particularly suitable for farming. 8世紀の記録によると、米や特産物を税金として納めることを免除する代わりに、毎年100人、多い時には200人が当時の都、奈良へ働きに行かされたそうです。The 8th century documents show that the local people, unable to pay their taxes with rice or produce, went to the capital of Nara. To work off their taxes instead. The number of laborers was 100 per year, sometimes reaching as many as 200. Hida Chihou Kara Kita to Yukoto de Daiku Nado Kio Atskao Shigoto de Hatarai Tashitoga Okata Yodes. The document suggests that many of them were employed as carpenters, having come from the Hida region. This Kara Kyoto. 奈良地方に残る古い神社仏閣、例えば薬師寺、法隆寺、東大寺などの造営に、この飛騨の人たちが大きく関わったと思われます。Many old shrines and temples in Kyoto and Nara, such as 薬師寺、法隆寺 and 東大寺 were thought to have been built with the help of 飛騨 people. これらの木造建築の素晴らしさは、飛騨の人たちの労力の賜物であるばかりでなく、その影響は日本全国の木造建築に影響を与えていると言っても過言ではないと思います。Therefore, these magnificent wooden buildings represent the work of the Hida people. It is not exaggeration to say that their craftsmanship influenced the wooden architecture across the country. Hida to Chano Yuto no Kanke ga Gutai Tikini de Tekuru no wa Jurok Seki no Nakagoro kara des. Hida's relationship with the Chano Yu emerged around the mid 16th century. Jugo Seki no Wari, Toji no Seken Tan Tosha, Ashkagashi no Chikara ga Yuari, Nihon no Shihai Ken o Meguri, Zenkok de Tatakai ga Hajimarimas. In the late 15th century, Japan's rulers at that time, the Ashkaga clan, lost their political power, and the country saw widespread domestic battles for supremacy. Hida to Kyoto Musubu, Chiki kara de Tikita, Oda no Munaga ga, Buryok to Seiji Ryok ni yonte, Kyoto Chushin to Suru Chiki o Hete Stikimas. Oda Nobunaga. Conquered the area around Kyoto, he was from the region next to Hida. Some go, Oda Nobunaga no Kokesha, Toyotomi Hideyoshi got Zenko Kusehashi, Hakunen Chika Zita Tatakayo, Wari Nichikazkemas. After Nobunaga, Toyotomi Hideyoshi conquered the whole country, bringing an end to the century long domestic war. So they were Sen no Rikyu Tachiga. 現在につながる茶の湯の原型を形作っていく時期と重なります。This is when Senryukyu 
and other tea masters established the basis of channel yu that has been passed down to us. One of the retainers of Nobunaga and Hideyoshi was Kanamori Nagachika. He fought numerous battles for those leaders. Nagachika is the person who linked Hida with Chanoyu. In 1585, After winning the battle, he was appointed as the new lord for the Hida region. Nagachika built a castle and developed towns and roads. He laid the foundation for today's Hida Takayama city. Nagachika Nagachika was not only a successful, a successful warlord, warlord, but he was a Chanoyu Konobosa. In 1591, Sen Rikyu committed suicide by the order of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Rikyu his family left Kyoto and they individually looked for separate destinations to hide. It is believed that Nagachika took care of Rikyu's biological son called Doan. Rikyu treasured many utensils, and one of them was called Rikyu Marutsubo, a round tea caddy. Toji, Chano Yu de Tsukau Matcha O Ireu Yoki, Chaire wa Hijou ni Kachi ga aru mono de shita. In those days, Chaire, or tea caddies for Chano Yu, were regarded as precious objects. Sono the chaire that Rikyu cherished must have been particularly sought after amongst his followers. The Nagachika inherited this chaire and he passed on to his son, Arishige. Hideyoshi's political leadership was taken over by Tokugawa Ieyasu. The Arishige, Nagachika's son, became the tea advisor for the Tokugawa family. The past struggle between Hideyoshi's successor and Tokugawa Ieyasu led to a battle at Osaka Castle, which was then Japan's largest castle. Arishige 
During this period, Kanamori Arishige disowned his heir called Shigechika. Shigechika was 30 years old at that time, and he was due to become the third lord of Hida. Expelled from the lordship family, Shigechika moved to Kyoto, and there he stayed at Daitokuji Temple, which is a Rinzai sect temple in Kyoto. He gave up his samurai status and shaved his head. By shaving his head, he declared his intention to live away from the secular world. In addition, he changed his name from Shigechika to Sowa. So he was newly born as Kanamori Sowa. Both his grandfather and father were tea experts, and they had regular contact with renowned masters such as Sen Rikyu. Kanamori Sowa was, of course, at a young age, he grew up with tea and tea. Naturally, Sowa also grew up with Chanoyu being part of his life. Sowa was in Kyoto, he was able to build a lot of success in Chanoyu's history. In Kyoto, Sowa had close associations with noble families, and he left a significant mark in the history of Chanoyu. Kanamori Sowa to Iro について o hanashi suru mae ni, mina san wa aru teedo wa gozonji da to moe masu ga, Chanoyu no lekishi について temijika ni hanashimasu. Before we talk about Kanamori Sowa and Iro, I would like to give a brief summary of tea history, which many of you may know already. In recent years, various studies have uncovered new facts, and tea history has been rewritten in many aspects. The tea drinking custom originated in China and was later introduced to Japan. In 2008, an excavation survey was conducted at Tianluoshan sites near Shanghai. Uh, researchers discovered what seems to be a tea farm dating back some 6,000 years. The tea trees had been planted in a row within a cultivated zone. When was tea introduced in Japan? Recently, the analysis of tea tree's DNA and pistils have revealed that tea was introduced to Japan from the continents in two separate routes. The first was from the Korean Peninsula and the second from China. 
二度目の中国から伝わったお茶が日本全国に広まっていったことが分かりました。The tea from China in particular became widely cultivated in Japan. 古文書によると、当時の行政資料から816年には比叡山で茶が栽培されていたことが類推できます。Old official records suggest that by the year 816, tea was grown at Mount Hiei, where the Tendai sect Enyaji Temple is located. Some of the people who are in the world, 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 the people who are in the world. Other documents confirm that tea was regularly served. At the Imperial Palace, where monks were conducting ritual ceremonies. 十世紀末頃には、延暦寺で茶が頻繁に飲まれていたようです。By the end of the 10th century, tea was often consumed at e n d y a k u j i Temple. この頃飲まれていたお茶は、皆さんが紅茶を飲むのと同じ方法、煎茶法です。At that time, tea was brewed. Just like English tea today. Cha no yu de cha no ha o kona ni shite nomu matcha ho. Kore wa juni seki ni nihon ni tsta arimashita. The custom of drinking powdered matcha tea was introduced in Japan in the 12th century. Cha no ha o kona ni suru cha usu ga まだ日本国内で生産することができないので、中国から輸入する貴重品で、しばらくの間、抹茶を飲む習慣はごく限られた範囲での広がりだったようです。Initially, stone mills to grind tea leaves were not produced in Japan and were only imported from China. Therefore, the matcha drinking custom was limited in the early stages. To a small group of people. So, no, Chi, Chano, say, San Chimo, Nanta Shoka, and Wakare, Chano, say, San Lioga, Fue, the Ikimas. Over time, tea plantations spread and tea production increased. To the Goraka, Skunai, Jidai, the Sun, the Ochano, Nomikurabe, or Ste, Tanoshim, Kaiga, Umaremas. As an entertainment, People started to organize parties to taste different tea leaves. Sanchi no chigao, ochao atsumete, dore ga, doko no ocha ka o ateru kai des. People guessed tea production sites of different teas. Sono kai de, onaji joken de chao no mu tame ni, matcha o ireru saji o mai kai kiyomer to ka, onaji chawan o maashi no mi suru to ka, 現在茶の湯で行う所作の原型と思える動きが見られます。In order to taste different teas under the same conditions, various rituals were developed, such as cleaning a teaspoon each time or sharing the same tea bowl amongst participants. They were the original forms of茶の湯 rituals. 裕福な商人たちの間では、茶の湯が始まります。Rich merchants started 茶の湯。金森有重が仕えた信長、秀吉、徳川家康が代々と方法を変えて茶の湯を政治の世界に取り込んでいきます。織田信長、豊臣秀吉、徳川家康、all exploited 茶の湯 in their political tactics. Kanamori Arishige, the second lord of Hida, served them all. Sen no Rikyu wo cha no yi wo lead shite itta hito ni Furuta Oribe ga imas. After Sen Rikyu, Furuta Oribe was amongst the leaders of cha no yi. Furuta Oribe wa Sen no Rikyu to wa mata shigatta katachi de cha no yi wo hyougen shite ikimas. Furuta manifested Chanoyu in a different style from Senrikyu. Oribe wa kare ga tsukaete ita nidae shogun tokuga hidetata kara samurai no chanoyu wo tsukuru yo ni shiji saremasu. 
The second Tokugawa shogun, Hide Tada, ordered Oribe to develop Chanuyu tailored for samurai. Chanuyu ga shonin tachi no te kara samurai tachi no tashinami ni kawatte ikimasu. Chanuyu changed to reflect samurai's taste instead of merchant's taste. Saisho no kai, koko de no saisho no kai, hikari to kage de rikyu no Taiwan wo shoukai shimashi ta ga Oribe wa ni meter shifou no kūkan de wa sema sugiru to shuchou shi chanoyu no kūkan wo hiroku shimasu. In my first talk here, themed light and shadow, I introduced Rikyu's tea room, Taiyan. In contrast, Oribe expanded the Chanoyu space, arguing Rikyu's two meter by two meter tea room was too small. 17 seki nakagoro ni naru to, saki hodo shoukai shita Kanamori Souwa ga kizoku tachi to no kouri o fukame, sore made no cha jin to a skoshi chigatta Chanoyu o tsukuri dashimasu. By the mid 19th century, Kanamori Soa, who I mentioned earlier, deepened his association with noblemen. He also developed a new style of Chanoyu. Chanoyu no lekishi de sono jidai jidai wo daishou shita hito tachi wa Chanoyu wo okonau dake de naku jibun ga tsukau dougu mo sousaku shimasu. In the history of Chanoyu, major masters not only hosted tea gatherings, but they also designed some utensils they used. Rikyu Izen no Chawan wa Chugoku kara kita mono ga hotondo deshita. Before Sendikyu, tea balls were mostly imported from China. Chugoku kara yunyu sareta Chawan wa kirei na seenke o motta tansei na Chawan desu. Chinese tea balls were perfectly round and flawless. Chugoku jiki no tsugi ni Chosen Hanto no Toki ga Chanoyu ni tojo shimas. After Chinese porcelains, Korean ceramics were introduced in Chanoyu. Koko de jinko teki na utsukushi sa kara yaki ageru aida ni dekiru shizen ga tsukuri dashita guzen se ni bi o this marks the change in aesthetics from artificial perfection to a natural, unexpected outcome of the firing process. Senrikyu lived during this period of aesthetic shifts. Senrikyu was a very important part of the first time. He commissioned tea balls with a tile maker who had the latest technology of ceramics at that time. So this is how Rak Chawan tea ball was born. Although it was created by a man, it does not give any impression of artificial effort. A typical Rakchawan is completely black. Rikyu no ato ni katsuyaku shita Oribe wa Chawan ni soushoku sei o umidashimasu. Rikyu's successor, Furuta Oribe, introduced a decorative element to tea balls. それまでになかった独創的な形と幾何学文様の登場です。He designs unique shapes and geometric patterns that were never seen before. オリベは日だと京都を結ぶ中間にあるミノという土地で、後にオリベ焼きと言われる焼き物を作らせます。Oribe commissioned tea utensils in the Mino region between Hida and Kyoto. The style was later called Oribe Ware. Oribe no Chawan wa kosei teki na katachi, kikagaku monyo no soushoku, yuyaku no shita ni etsuke ga hotoko sareta mono desu. Oribe tea balls are known for unique shapes 
geometric decorations and underglaze drawings. Olive が利休と同じように不幸な死を遂げた後、時代は江戸時代へと入っていきます。Furuta had a tragic fate similar to Sandikyu. The time shifts to Edo era. Edo 時代初期は政治と社会の安定が目指されます During the early Edo period, s the government's focus was political and social stability. ほぼ100年続いた戦いの世の中が過去のものとなっていきます Since the century long domestic war became something of the past. このような時代背景の中、金森宗和は京都で野々村人生という投稿を指導します。Against this historic background, 金森宗和 trains a potter named 野々村人生。そして現在、茶の湯の世界で色絵と呼んでいる茶碗を生み出します。They created a new genre of t e a b a l known as 色絵 in 茶の湯。色絵茶碗の登場です。This is when colorful t e a b a l s were created. 金森総和の茶碗は優雅な色使いで形も手に持った感じが優しいものです。Tea balls commissioned by Kanamori Sowa have elegant colors and gentle shape to fit in a palm. Kanamori Sowa no Iroe Jan wa sono utskisa na gendai demo Iroe Aser koto wa a r i m a s e Iroe Chawans are beautiful even by modern aesthetics. Chinami ni Kanamori Sowa to Nisei wa Chawan dake de naku, Chano yu de tskau ta no dogu mo tskurimas. Sowa and Ninse produce not only tea balls, but various Chanoyu utensils as well. Matcha or Hoson Stoyok Utsua to Ste Chatsubo Gardimas. Chatsubo, a tea pot, is a large size storage container for matcha. Shoki no Chanoyua, Chanoyu to Chanoyu no Shoki, a Kono Chatsubo Ga, Ichiban Daisina, Dogu to Ninshiki Sarantimas. In the early days of Chanoyu, Chatsubo was regarded as the most important utensil. これが金森総和になるとこのようになります。金森総和 designed Chatsubo like this. 茶の湯の中で色とは何であるのか What is the significance of colors in 茶の湯日本語の色という単語には赤、青、黄色といった色のことだけでなくいくつかの意味を含んでいます。The Japanese word 色 means colors such as red, blue, and yellow.It also has other nuances. 色があるという場合、魅力があるという意味です。The Japanese phrase, Iro Aru, that is a color, literally meaning, implies a person is attractive. Iro Poi to you to Sendiki Miroko Kanji Sasimas. Iro Poi, one shows a hint of color, means sexy. Iro to a sono kojin kojin ga naimen ni motte iru, sono hito dake no Miroko to yer kamashiramasa. In Japanese, Iro can mean an individual person's unique attractiveness. Kanamori Sowa no Iro Ejaan wa Cha no Yu no Atsumari ni Cha Seki ni Sono Iro de Hana o Mochikonda yo na Adeya Kasa o Tsukuri dashita yo ni omoimas. I would imagine Kanamori Sowa's Chaban projected some glamour in Cha no Yu gathering with its color reminiscent to flowers. 明るい広い茶席で色絵の茶碗を楽しむ。They are best appreciated in a large bright tea rooms. それをあえて言えば、足し算の茶の湯だと思います。In a way, it embodies 茶の湯 with additions. そうはが足し算に対して、利休の茶の湯は引き算の茶の湯です。
In contrast, Sendiku created Channel U with subtractions. Riku set the ceiling of at the minimum height and he plastered the walls with natural soil. Utensils were all made of virtually monotonous ceramics with no decorations. Light and shadow, sound and water, raku tea balls which do not show any egos of, of the producers. By removing and eliminating all excess features, Riku created a minimalist channel you which celebrates Iro against monotonous backgrounds. So far, I talked about Hida, Kanamori Soa, and the emergence of colors in Chanoyu. Now, I would like to explain the actual Chanoyu with the utensils presented here. In Chanoyu, in many cases, the host offers two kinds of matcha. The first is koicha, thick tea with very carefully harvested tea leaves. The second is Ustja, thin tea. Its tea leaves are grown in careful methods, but not as thoroughly as koicha tea leaves. Koicha wo tanoshimu ba ga cha no yu de wa saikou na hitotoki desu. Koicha is the utmost joy in cha no yu. Sono ato, after koicha, the atmosphere turns more relaxed with usja. In old days, tobacco was offered as well. It is usja that we usually feature at our demonstrations. Um, the, during our demonstrations, we remain quiet so that audience can watch without distractions. And this causes the false impression that Chanoyu is a ceremony. Chanoyu is a ceremony. Chanoyu is not a ceremony. Chanoyu wa soko ni iru hito doushi ga jibun no naimen wo sarake dashite kaku jin no iro wo tanoshimi au ba desu. Chanoyu is the occasion when all the participants reveal their real personality and enjoy each other's iro. Desu kara teishu ga okona ugoki wa performance dewa arimasen. Therefore, the host procedure is not a performance. Chanoyu is an intimate gathering amongst the host and guests. It takes place in Chashitsu, a tea room exclusively dedicated for Chanoyu. The purpose is not to review the host movements. The 
作り出される場を楽しむ。それが茶の湯です。茶の湯 is to mutually enjoy everybody's company in an interactive and synergetic way. Both the host and guest equally contribute to the session. 特別な動きを見てもらうことが目的ではありません。It is not an occasion to showcase certain procedures or movements. で、今日は、えー、私、木村の話の一部として、えー、茶の湯との中心となる濃茶の部分、ここに道具がありますので、それを説明していきたいと思います。Today I would like to expand my talk to cover the introduction of 濃茶 the main section of 茶の湯。まず、茶の湯の道具について、えー、説明しておきます。先生、時間はそろそろです。はい。Um, let me explain first the utensils of 茶の湯、えー。茶の湯で使う道具には2種類あります。There are two kinds. 一つは、床の場と言われる特殊な場所に飾られる、鑑賞して楽しむもの。The first group is an ornament. Uh, which are displayed in Tokonoma alcove and viewed and appreciated. The most of the Kokoni are Yoni, Jisaini, Matcha, Asia, the Morau Tameno Dogudes. The others are utensils which are actually used to offer tea like these. The Kokoni are Dogu, a Temae Dogu, the Namae de Obaremas. So we call them Temae Dogu utensils for the tea o f f e r i n g utensils which are actually used. To offer tea like these. でこれがあの、まあ、皆さんご存知お湯を沸かして釜というものですね。So、this is kama to boil tea,、uh, hot water. でここにあるのが濃い茶というものを入れておく茶入れという器です。This one is chaire to keep the、uh, matcha tea powder. でこちらの方はそのお茶と抹茶とお湯を混ぜるために使う茶碗。This is 茶碗 tea bowl to make tea for guests by mixing matcha powder and hot water. で、えー、釜の蓋を開けたりするので、えー、ここにあるのが蓋を、釜の蓋を置くための、えー、蓋を置くための道具ですね。Uh, this is a、um, utensil to rest the、uh, 釜 lid. Temporarily. でお湯を使うので当然、えー、温度調整とかが必要なのでここに水が入っています。And cold water is stored in this jar in order to control the temperature. でこういうものを使って、えー、おこい茶っていうものを立てます。So these are the utensils used to make k o i c h a で、えー、今日はお道具の紹介だけでこれより先の所作っていうのはしません。Uh, today, I would like to just show、um, the utensils, and we don't have time to demonstrate the,、uh, how to make koicha today. Japan House さん、ここ、Japan House さんで土曜日に、えー、同じこの道具を使ってお koicha をしますので、ご興味がある方はその土曜日の会の方にいらしてください。This Saturday, Uh, we will have another opportunity to demonstrate, and at that time, we're going to actually make koicha、uh, using these utensils. So, if you have a chance,、uh, please come back again on Saturday. また、薄茶の方にご興味がある方は、地上階の方でジャパンハウスさん、あの抹茶も薄茶も出されていますし、抹茶も販売されていますので、そちらもぜひお試しください。Um, if you're also interested in Uscha, Uh, the matcha tea powders are available、uh, both as a powder and also the u s c h a made as a drink upstairs. Watashi no Hanasha Koko de Kyoa, Wari Ni Sashi Tadakimas. Go say Chow, Arigato Zem. So this concludes my talk. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Kimura Sensei, for the wonderfully rich and informative presentation. I think it's now time to take a few questions from our audience, both here in Japan House and online.、Uh, so, if you have any questions, please do、uh, put up your hand and we'll bring、uh, a microphone over to you so that everyone can hear both here and online.
Okay, do we have any questions here in the room? Any questions? So let, let's see, have a look uh, online to see uh, what we have uh, here. Uh, so there's uh, a question from Andrew uh, who said, uh, Why do you think the C ceremony, which is the way of tea, became so popular uh, in Japan and progressed in such a unique way? It is a very difficult question to answer since it's not a straightforward answer. で、日本 days uh, there are so many people to practice and um, as a keiko or lessons or training it is very popular. でも、茶の湯ってものを実際に楽しんでいるかといえばそれは限られた人です。But um, the number of people who actually uh, enjoy chanoyu as a hobby is uh, probably much less. Thank you very much. Do, do we have any questions from uh, the audience before we go to another one from the online viewers? Maybe let's do one more from the online viewers and then we'll give you some time to think of a couple <laughs> of questions while we have the wonderful opportunity to have Kimura Sensei, Master, Tea Master uh, with us. So here's one from Mili Kuga. Uh, thank you very much for the question. And they have asked, is there any color in particular that represents channel you? There's no specific color that is going to uh, single out as the color for channel you. Thank you. Yeah, so we have a question here in the front. So one of my colleagues is going to bring you a microphone um, so that we can hear you. So, uh, yes, uh, no, no, so we can hear you online as well. So, yes, please, uh, uh, Nina, thank you. So I'm just interested in Wabi Sabi, and I'm wondering how that relates historically and to the present in relation to the web tea. Hi, this is a very difficult question. Probably um, we could write a whole book to talk about Wabi Sabi um, alone. So it, it is a very complex uh, question. Uh, he himself is still exploring uh, the ideas and uh, one day he would like to have a clear answer himself. Uh, <laughs> certain things in life or in nature um, has to wait until one gets older uh, to appreciate so uh, Wabi Sabi is one of those ideas that is going to require maturity to appreciate. Um, it's similar to asking love, uh, the concept of love to ch young children, and they wouldn't know what it means. The 人生経験がたくさんした方に愛とは何ですかって聞いたときに、やっぱり答えは一人一人違うと思うんですよね。After people have gained certain experiences and matured, when asked or if asked uh, what love means to that person, probably uh, everybody has a different answer. わびというものもだから一人一人の so uh, Wabi is the same that it is a very different individual interpretation 
or understanding, and there's no uh, universal clear answer. And that's why he thinks that's going to take a long time to, to solve. Thank you very much for the very insightful answer. So I think we can take one more from online. And this is from Asa Anderson, who has asked, who has said, Kimura Soke Sensei, thank you very much for your talk. Please, can you talk more about the combination of color when choosing utensils for channel you uh, for uh, one event? And it would also be interesting to hear more about the color of clothing in the tea room. It's clothing. So first of all, um, could you tell us a little bit about the combination of color when choosing utensils uh, for channel U and also about the color of clothing in the tea room? どうやって何を着てくかって自分で決めませんか。Um when everybody goes to a party, um it is that participant's own decision about what to wear. だから道具はその人がどうやったらま私の場合だったらどうやったら自分が考える綺麗なものが表現できるかなってことで um, as an individual, um, he tries to create the uh, best uh, channel you. So he's going to choose uh, various utensils uh, based on the textiles or texture or the colors and these the shapes. The joy of Chanoyu is that everybody can create a unique uh, Chanoyu. なんかフットボールのユニフォームみたいにみんな同じものを着て茶室に行ったりしたらそれは茶の湯ではなくてまた全然別のものになります。just like a football uniform, everybody wore identical kimono and went into a, a tea room, then it wouldn't make a channel you and something different. So it is um, a stage or opportunity to express yourself. So uh, the less is better to have certain standards or or guidelines thank you very much but i think we have time for uh one or two uh quick questions do we have any uh, any more questions from uh, our audience now that you've had a, a time to think yes i think we have uh just one here at the back thank you uh so i was interested by this idea that it's not a ceremony so much as a point of for everyone to express themselves would you would everyone be expected to uh, talk and chat while the tea is being made? And would there be more, would the person preparing the tea be expected to kind of guide the conversation? Or would they be there more to listen to whatever the other person is saying? か、um, imagine organizing a dinner party or attending one, and sometimes the party is going to be led by the host um, suggesting different topics, or other times the uh, 
the guests are going to participate more actively and the conversation is going to be led by the guests. So uh, there is each channel you is going to be unique and different. So there is no um, rule about who is going to lead or who is going to uh, respond. Thank you very much. And do we have uh, a last uh, question from anyone uh, here in the hall? Is there anybody with your hand up? Oh, yes, we've got one in the. So let's for the final question um, on in the front row here. Amy, thank you. あの、今日見せていただいたあの、オリオリベ茶碗を見た時に、この鉄平のところがすごく、なんていうか、アンイーブンこう、ぐちゃぐちゃ。と、今日お持ちのあの、茶碗もあまりまっすぐではなくて、
And following the event, we will send you each a feedback form, uh, which we'd be very grateful if you could fill in with your comments so that we can continue to hold these events and improve them. And as Kimura Sensei has mentioned, he'll be returning to Japan House to lead some special demonstrations of the way of tea uh, this December and January. The next sessions are on Saturday, sorry, the next set sessions are on Saturday, the 17th of December, which I believe are mostly fully booked, but uh, Kimura Sensei will be coming back uh, on 18th January, uh, for which bookings will be open on the 4th uh, of January. And if you've enjoyed tonight's talk, please do pay a visit to Japan House London's free gallery exhibition, The Carpenter's Line, where you continue to explore the craftsmanship of the Hida Takayama region and its history of 1,300 years of woodworking craftsmanship. And uh, that's uh, all for tonight, but thank you again once more to Kimura Soke, and thank you for joining. So that ends our live stream. I